Welcome to Boots of Boom Now, the number one live streaming show, the number one live streaming entrepreneur show, taking you from bootstrap to booming. We are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and we are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern to get your PayPal popping, your business booming, and your life and your relationships to explode. Boom! Hey guys, I think we're live. <laughs> uh, hey everyone, hey Tashi, uh, hey Curtis, hey more people that um, haven't signed in, so I don't know who you are. Hello everyone, welcome, 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 welcome to Boot to Boom, the best live streaming show. Okay, perfect, you can hear us. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So welcome to Boot to Boom, the number one live streaming show taking entrepreneurs from bootstrap to booming. We are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern to get your PayPal popping, your business booming, and your life and relationships to explode. I am your host and founder of Boot to Boom and CEO of Ava Laura's Healing Center, Ava Laura. And next to me, making all the funny faces over there, is Jessica, my co-host. <laughs> Trying to knock you off your game. Trying to knock you off. You, you smooth though. You kept going. You kept I'm moving. I'm a professional. Look, I can ignore a whole lot of stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome everybody. Uh, we want to hear from you all. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, some of you, like I said, we can see your names over here in the chat. Some of you aren't signed in. So just a quick note, if you want to make comments, if you want to be in the chat, um, you can uh, actually make comments in the chat. You can ask questions using the Q&A feature. If you want to do all of that, you absolutely have to sign in. Um, otherwise, we can't see you. We can't hear you. You can't participate. And one of the beautiful things about this show is it is a participatory show. Like We want to hear from you. So yeah. um, make sure that you go ahead and do that. You can kind of get out, create an account. Um, I think you can just sign in through Facebook. You can use your your um, your email account, but go ahead and do that. So then that way you can participate in the chat. And as you see below me, that's how you use the chat feature. That's how you use the Q and A feature. You can also share this out on Facebook and Twitter. Sharing is caring. So definitely go ahead and share this out. Uh, share it with your peeps. Let them know that we're live, that we're on, and we have another fantastic show for you today. Uh, I'll talk about my guest in just a minute, but she's going to be sharing her entrepreneurial journey, and we're also going to be talking about course creation. So if you've always wanted to know, like, how do I get a course that all these people talk about they have online that they're making all this passive income, you can create a course and then leave it and make money, you want to find out how to do that, we're going to be talking about that today. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. But for now, we want to hear from you. Uh, we want to welcome you. So how did you hear about the show? You know, let us know in the chat. Did you hear about it in Facebook? Did you hear about it from uh, Twitter? Did you get a tweet? Uh, did you get a notification because you are subscribed to us here on Huzzah? Uh, did you get an email or was it some other method? How did you hear about the show? Put it in the chat. Let us know because we want to know how you're finding out about us. And of course, we want you to share us with your friends, right? All your entrepreneurial friends, all your 
friends, your people uh, want to be successful in life. They have big dreams. They have plans that they want to find out, you know, how they can manifest those things, how they can do that, how they can start a business, how they can make money in their business, all of these things. Or you just want to hear from people who have done it, right? Who have been successful and you want to know how they did it. So share it with them. So somebody says, uh, Mr. Wizard. So right now we only got one person chatting with us. So I guess only one person likes us. I don't know what the rest of y'all are doing, but we do want to hear from you. <laughs> so let me know that you are listening, that you can hear us. Um, but we appreciate you, Curtis, because you seem to be the only one talking to us today right now. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully that will change in an instance. Oh, there we go. Just listening. Oh, you know, you know, you can't just listen on Boot to Boom. This is not just a listening show. This is a participate. This is a chat with us. This is a write stuff down because you're getting valuable information. You can't just sit and listen. Come on now, Malik. This is not your first time here, so you know better. Okay. Malik, we don't <laughs> need you to take a selfie before. Take a selfie about what, what it is you doing. Take a selfie. Yes, you know, definitely the okay. selfie feature. That's that's a really cool feature as well that you can take your selfies as well. So uh, right. definitely go ahead and do that. Again, uh, we will open it up for questions at the end of the hour. So if you have questions for our guest, if you have questions for us, um, you can uh, get in the seat. You can get in the boom seat a little later on. You got to tweet for a seat. And of course, you can also use the Q&A feature throughout. That's what you want to do when you want to ask questions so that they will be highlighted and we can see them. All right. So I hope you all are ready for an amazing, amazing show. Um, a couple more announcements. Oh, our resource list that we introduced last week. Some of you got it. Some of you didn't. You want to make sure that you grab our resource list. Uh, we are helping you save thousands and thousands of dollars, over $10,000. So you want to grab the resource list. We are um, updated each, I know I asked some stuff this week. Um, so it's different trainings, it's different products, different resources that are going to help you to get your PayPal popping and your business booming. So you want to go ahead and grab that. We're going to post that link up so you can get the resource list. And you also want to make sure that you join our Facebook group. So if you're not already in Facebook, go ahead and join our Facebook group. Again, the link is going to be there. Why do you want to join? We got the motivational boom of the day every single day coming out. Words of wisdom, information. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I see some newbies in the house. Welcome. So you definitely uh, want to get in our Facebook group. Yes. Right, because we always have tons of resources there as well. Um, different events coming up as well. So definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, Boots of Boom is going to be at PNC. Remember PNC Power Networking Conference. It is the number one conference for Black entrepreneurs. It is the number one networking conference for Black entrepreneurs. We are going to be having speakers from PNC. Um, on the show. So you definitely want to check that out. But we really want to see you there live. We're going to be in Maryland at the National Harbor, July 6th through the 8th. Jessica's coming all the way from California. So if you are in and around the DC area, particularly if you are within, you know, four hours driving distance, you really, really, really have no excuse. You don't even have to get on the plane. You can drive here. So you have no excuse, but you really want to be here. And to make sure that you are here, we are committed to you showing up and really just getting all the goodness that's going to be there, all the resources, all the networking. We have an amazing deal just for you because you are a part of the Boot to Boom family. All right. If you go to the Power Networking Conference website, you're going to see that tickets are $8.99 for this conference, $899. And I will tell you, it's well worth it. I was there last year. Uh, we had an awesome time. Awesome time. Um, it was it was just phenomenal in so many words. I mean, literally up from sun up to sundown, networking. I mean, just so much goodness. So many amazing speakers, classes, workshops. It was it was like goodness overwhelmed. It was amazing. So, it's worth the eight ninety nine. 
but we want to make sure that you're there. We want to make it accessible for you. So because you're a part of the Boot to Boom family, we have tickets just for you at $399. So we are taking $500 off the price. You can only get that here. So if you want to join us and we're going to be having special incentives for you, we're going to, you know, have something special for our Boot to Boom peeps that show up that come. Um, make sure you email us. All you got to do to get the tickets, email us boot number two boom at gmail.com. Tell us, just say PNC. Yeah, right. We'll know you want to go and uh, we will give you the link to sign up for PNC and we'll see you here at the National Harbor in Maryland in the DC area in July. There you go. Email us boot number two boom at gmail.com. A's popping topic, and then you're going to see our amazing guest. Yes, um, Ava Laura. Before we get into our popping topic, please tell them. Would you let let me introduce you? Um, so let me introduce my co-host here, who has been so gracious to open up our show, and uh, you know hasn't spoken about her herself at all. Most of you know her, but for those of you who don't, uh, Ava Laura is an internationally celebrated intuitive consultant and life coach who takes her clients from whole to wholeness in their life relationships, and business. She guides you through a powerful healing process that helps you discover who you are, who you wish to be, and how you can get there. If now's the time for you to live a freedom-focused life, detox yourself from limiting beliefs, get clear, focused, and confidently excel in your life and in your business, then Ava Laura is the guide you've been waiting for. So you can contact her today at avalora at avalora.com. And then um, I also wanted to add into that a little bit, um, Ava Laura, in our Facebook group, we also have special guests. So make sure um, you join our Facebook group because we also have special guests that hop into our group and give um, inspirational and motivational speeches all of the time. So you definitely want to be there for that. All right, so I'll pass it on over to Ava Laura. Thank you so much, Jessica. I got so excited. You know, I don't even think about that stuff, but I know there's some newbies here. You don't know who we are. The newbies, we appreciate you for being here. We hope you come back and invite a friend next time. And so let me tell you a little about the amazing Miss Jessica. So um, Jessica is an experienced online business consultant. She has over a decade in assisting SMEs, uh, businesses, owners, business owners, and also in the digital sector. Oh, look at the selfie. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so uh, yes, she has over a decade working with business owners in the digital media <laughs> sector. Uh, throughout her 25 years of practice, she has worked with well-known um, Wall Street and Fortune 500 companies, television celebrities, healthcare providers, leading public figures, and community leaders. Look who we got on this show, y'all. Come on. Um, so Jessica, or Jaw. Jessica advocates wellness. She believes that everyone has a purpose and God put her here to help you. And she believes that you were here to help somebody too. So she is here to show you how to show up in your life and your business by creating your own platform. All right. So Thank you so much, Ava Laura. That was great. And I just, I'm gonna have to record you and just put you um, in the beginning of my podcast. Um, <laughs> you'll just be my permanent announcer. Um, so yeah, we're moving on now to um, our popping topic. So this week, what I decided to do for you all is you know that I like to either have a popping topic about a trend that's happening right now, or um, a popping topic that'll get your PayPal popping, just something that I believe is a useful tool for entrepreneurs. Um, but this week, you know, I wanted to do something that was a little bit different um, because we have um, a great guest today that's gonna be showing us about online courses. It's one of my, uh, one of my friends, and I can also call her a mentor as well. Um, she plays a dual uh, relationship in my life. Um, and this week, I really wanted to play off of her strengths, which is building courses. But I also, um, we, we talked as a team, um, Ava Laura and our tech team, um, Leon, all that good stuff. And, you know, we came, we started to think when you build a course, you know, and you sit down and you're ready to just bang it out and build a course, sometimes you need some inspiration and, you know, you have to take care of yourself mentally. Um, as I read to you earlier, Ava Laura is a healing coach and she knows all about that, right? She knows all about taking care of yourself um, and bringing yourself from whole to wholeness in your life. But also within that topic, 
we were talking about just journaling and how important it is to journal um, in your life and in your business, right? So I decided that I would um, go ahead and bring our popping topic up and show you all a journal that I found on Amazon. All right, so the journal that I found is a, 50, is a list of 52 um, projects that you can do yearly. So it, we, it draws out your week. And since we're almost at the end of the year, I thought what better way to bring in a new year is to start now get a jump on it, and then move it on over into the new year, right? So this list, every single week of the year, um, it will help you discover the beauty, the joy, creativity, and power you already have. So it's a beautiful journal, it has a weekly list, and it helps you nurture your self-expression and your self-development. So I definitely want to um, go ahead and recommend this to you all because it's so important for you to make sure that number one, you're taking care of yourself mentally um, as well as physically as well. But you also want to make sure that when you get into that deep dive of a course that you are you know, doing it for the right reasons, right? We all wanna make money, but we also wanna make sure that we're making a difference in the world as well. Um, so I know that Kat will be telling you all kind of the structure and the formula to do that um, because you know she, she's the bomb. Um, and building courses, but I wanted to make sure that mentally you're you're okay and that you're taking care of yourself and that you have your plan just planned out and you have a schedule that you can kind of follow. So that's our popping topic for the day. Go ahead and check out um, that journal and you can click on the link here. Um, we'll have it inside of the chat. You can click on the link there. It'll take you directly to um, the journal and you can sign up and get that journal for yourself and it's actually on sale right now so that was another reason I'm like oh yeah <laughs> you know we always need a sale and and the uh, comments okay. are great awesome resource i love journals i need a new journal one more structured yes it's so great. awesome yeah so go ahead grab that resource list um the journal is on there as well so you can click the link and get that and um you know a lot of us i know we live in this tech world we talked about this, but some of us, we still like yeah, pen and paper, that. right? There, there's just something really kind of magical about pen and paper. So I still love to write things <laughs> down. I mean, I have my apps that I use on my phone and, you know, I, you know, I type on my computer, but they're just, a, there's something magical about yeah. writing it down. Definitely. So, you know, definitely go ahead and grab that journal. I think it's going to be a great resource for you. She said, I'm a techie, but I love a good right? small notebook. Yeah, there's, there's just something yeah. about that, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm glad. So y'all y'all are people. Y'all are people because, yes, yeah, so I still love to handwrite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. So we wanted to have a resource where you all still get to do that, where you still get to record your thoughts and you get to write mm -hmm. that down. And just, you know, that feeling that you get, like when you just kind of take it out of your head and get it on pen and exactly. paper. Exactly. And there's actually um, research that shows, um, as you guys know, I'm jaw research, right? Um, so there's research, research that actually shows that your memory triggers um, when you write things down versus if you type them. So if you write something down, it'll you know hold true into in your memory, and you'll be able to carry that on. So just thought I'd add that in there. Don't ask me about the science behind it. I will totally need to Google it and pull it back up. But <laughs> I do remember for you. No, but you know what? <laughs> Honestly, that that makes perfect sense. Seriously, like that got me through college. Like a lot of times, I would write things down, and I would never go back yeah. to it. But I would write it down because in the process of writing it down, it would help me to remember exactly. it. So even though I may not go back through my notes, just writing it down helped me to remember it in the yeah, first place. Yeah, there's actually research behind it. Oh, I believe Yeah, no, that. there's total research behind it. So um, even I use it in church as well. When there's a scripture or something I want to remember, I write it down um, and I take my little notebook with me inside of my Bible and I write it down and yeah, and it stays true and I can remember and I can recall it um, a lot easier. So yeah, that's a great story, Ava Laura. Um, so the resource list is so important because it has that link as well as other links to things that we've researched for you. Like I said, I'm part of the Jaw Research Institute, right? That's what we do. We research business and we research wellness. So um, Ava, Laura and I, and that's the reason kind of why we are on the show together, because <laughs> we totally believe in you having a holistic and the whole economic, the whole ecosystem of um, entrepreneurship. So that's taking care of your life, your relationships and your business. So make sure you grab that resource list and it'll have those resources in there. You can click on those links, click, 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 click all day long. And I'm sure you will find more than enough um, information that you need that will help you excel and live a life of wellness. Oh, absolutely. There's tons of resources in there. So you're gonna find something. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> you can't not find something on this list. We really, we really put a lot of thought into it. So we definitely want you to get it and go through it, use it and share it. Yeah. You know, again, sharing is caring, share it out. And we're in the, you know, we're getting into the holiday season now. So this is a great way to actually get things that you need for your business and for your life and yeah. for your wellness, as opposed to things that you might want that are not really going to benefit exactly. you. Exactly. So go ahead and take a look at the list and say, you know what? Yeah, I do need this. You know, um, I do need to meditate, plugging myself. I do need to meditate. You know, <laughs> I do need a plug, crown. Plug. Yeah, I'm plugging myself. Self-promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, okay so yeah no that's all good it's all good um so yeah no but i was i was just about to say it's like the deep breathing i did a deep breathing exercise before i came on here today um because i was just i yeah so anyway moving along <laughs> do that for us the next time um so yeah we'll definitely need it right in december like when we start crazy and yes. going out for okay okay i don't even want to say black friday but i mean maybe yeah. It's coming. I don't know if you guys were gonna do that or not. Yeah, but um, okay. So anyway. we can talk about we'll we'll talk about that on another yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, that's that's so, a good topic. We'll, we'll talk let's about. Let's move on <laughs> to our yeah. So let's get into our fabulous yes. guest for the yay, evening. Yay. Uh, we have the wonderful Catherine Dunn. Ilanga, mm -hmm. and she is an award-winning instructional designer and a frequent speaker with more than 15 years of experience building, launching, and teaching courses. Definitely. She works with entrepreneurs as well as corporate teams to develop learning and development solution for passive income strategies. I know we all want some passive income. Let me tell you something. Yeah. One of my favorite things in the whole world is when I look at my phone in the morning and I see my PayPal off while I was sleeping. Okay. Oh, you don't understand how I do the happy dance, okay? <laughs> Can you show us? I would like to see how I do the happy dance. <laughs> I do the happy dance. When I look at my phone and I'm like, ooh, I was sleeping and look at all these PayPal notifications. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that ding, that ding, yes. You just don't know. Now I have it on silent because I'm sleeping. So when I wake up, I sleep. Oh, I got to hear the ding. I leave the ding on. I leave the ding on. So when I'm dreaming, I hear the ding. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't care. Ding. Just give me the money. I don't care. I need that. <laughs> hey, Catherine. How are you? Welcome. Welcome hey, to Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, Mama, how and are you? I am fantastic. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Yes, yes, yes we yes. did. Yes, we did. <laughs> So, you know, even though I introduced you, please go ahead and just tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and how did you get into business? Why did you become an entrepreneur? Yes. Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you all inviting me here. I'm so glad to be here. And um, so I am Catherine Dunn Ilonga, otherwise known as Cat the Course Builder. I have a master's degree in instructional design and teaching with technology as well as an MBA. And I have been doing this work of course building for about 15 years or so. So um, why did I get into this? Why am I doing this? And why am I here now? Because I love talking to especially women entrepreneurs about how to get free with things that they already know how to do. All right. Because way back when many, many moons ago, I was uh, traveling around as a speaker. I was traveling. I was out, out on the road. I was out on Sunday, back on Friday, out on Sunday, back on Friday. And it was a merry-go-round. And I did that for a few years. And and in the beginning, I really loved it, right? Because I got a chance to see, you know, many states in the union. I've been to pretty much every state and uh, I got a chance to meet some amazing people and really hone my craft as a speaker and a public, uh, public speaker. I got a chance to do that. And then one day I decided that, um, I don't know, it was just this big bong, this is big noise in my ear. And I couldn't, I was like, what is that? What is that? No it was my clock ticking. Okay. It was my clock ticking. All right. And I figured <laughs> that if I ever wanted to get married, have a kid, 
all of that, I was like, oh, wait, I can't wait forever? No, I can't, all right? So while my eggs were turning to powder, I decided that I was going to do something about it, okay? I was going to do something about it, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. I was just like, I yeah. felt stuck because at that time, mm -hmm. it was like, it, okay, if you're not on the road, if you're not speaking and doing those things, you don't make any money. Like, what do you yeah. do? Like, how do I get mm -hmm. off of this roller coaster and still make money? And I could not for the longest time. I just didn't understand it. And so I started talking to some of my colleagues and, uh, you know, someone mentioned to me one day and was like, have you ever heard of instructional design? You know, and I was like, well, I've heard of instruction. I've heard of design. I never really put it together. What is all of that about? Right. And um, all I really knew was that people were allowed to stay at home, um, mm -hmm. work from their kitchen table, have a life. Mm -hmm. And that was good enough for me. I was just like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. me. I'm yeah. I don't even know about all this stuff, but I'm in, right? And so mm -hmm. I started learning as much as I could about how courses are actually put together. Like, why do you why do you call them modules? And 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 how do people really learn? And and why does it matter what order you put things in? And and what is the methodology? Mm -hmm. And why is that important, right? And I started sort of learning and putting things together. But more importantly, what I learned is I learned that my clients really wanted this. Like I learned that I could put together these courses and they were like, that is the boom, bam, pow. I don't have to pay your big old fee. OK, to come here and your big old hotel bill and your big old flight bill and your big old food bill because i was not eating at mcdonald's when i went it was, it was strictly room right. service okay <laughs> and they were like hey this works all right they were almost kind of like what took you so long you know they were almost kind of mm. like you know and and what i realized we've been, we've been waiting yeah, for you they were they were waiting they were kind of waiting on me i don't know if they were waiting on me so much as you know, as it made sense for them. All mm -hmm. right. So little did I really realize that the trend was already in this direction in terms of business, in terms of the way business was going. Like I, I didn't really feel it at that time, but it was heading that way. And I was so glad that I read the tea leaves. I was so glad that mm -hmm. I read the tea leaves because not too long after that, um, I would say probably about the 2000, you know, 2001 era, you started mm -hmm. noticing that companies were not as willing um, to, to pay those fees, those speaker fees, those trainer fees um, for mm -hmm. you to come out and do those things. And it started going down. And that oftentimes hap happens um, to especially people of color, I find that we are like so behind the curve. Like we don't, you know what I mean? Like by the time the housing crisis hit, everybody that, that knew something got out, you know, and here we are sitting in these depressed yep. communities that will never recover. All right. And some people got out because they were able to be privy to some of that information. Right. So you asked me, um, Evalora, what was my why? This is a lot of my why. All right. I, I just feel like there are so many of us who don't understand or know about this lifestyle and really how to do it. Mm -hmm. And with courses, it is especially important because education is one of the largest um, industries in the world. You will never be out of work. You'll never be out of work teaching people um, what you know. And so I decided to go back to school, get a second master's degree in instructional design, because not only did I want to know it, I wanted to be excellent at it. All right. I wanted to be um, at the top of my game with it. And, and I needed to have, I wanted to understand how adults learn so that I could really create programs that um, that spoke to adults, that that taught adults and helped adults to um, to move forward in their careers and in their lives. So I know that was a long answer, but but that's that's sort of how I got started and, and, and my why all wrapped up in one. 
Yeah, that was the journey. That's awesome. That's awesome. I want to. I want to take a step, a step back. And so, what is your background? So, before the speaking, um, did you have? Where did Where did you work? Did you have a job in corporate, or what kind of work did you do? And how did you get into speaking, and and then make that sort of that transition? Great question. So, I started off. Uh, my very, very first career was as a journalist. Um, okay. I wanted to be a writer, right? And so I worked for a couple of newspapers when I first started. Everybody thinks I was in uh, like in front of the camera. I wanted to be in front of the camera. I really didn't. I, I really mm. wanted to be behind the cameras. I was really, I wouldn't say shy, but I just never had a desire to be in the front of the camera. I love, love, love to write. So I heard you all talking about the journaling uh, a few mm -hmm. minutes ago before I came in and you're like, oh, you know, I heard you Jessica talking about how you can really remember things when you write things down. Well, you know what? There is a reason for that. It is because writing is the trifecta of learning because mm -hmm. most people are visual learners. So you get a chance to get that visual and then some people are kinesthetic learners. So they get a chance to actually do. All right. So the action of writing and then some people are actually auditory learners. So so you get it. So with writing and if you kind of talk to yourself in your head or even out loud as you're writing, you are really creating that memory in your head. So writing is I call it the trifecta of learning because you get that visual, the kinesthetic and the auditory all in one fell swoop. So writing is so, so important. But I wanted to be a writer. And so that's what I did for a few years. You know, did I work in corporate? Yes, I did. And I couldn't stand it, right? I liked it a little <laughs> bit, you know, for the experience. And it was good. But you know what my breaking point was? My breaking point was when I asked my, my manager at the time if I could take off for my birthday. Mm. I asked if I could take off mm. for my birthday. Now, mind you guys, mind you, my birthday is already on a holiday. All right. Oh, my birthday. Oh. Yeah. My birthday is December 31st. I was born New <sighs> Year's. OK, wow. And here I was working in corporate. I had a professional job. Mm -hmm. All right. I was making almost six figures even back then. And I asked, I was like, you know, I didn't think it was any big deal. I was like, you know, I want to take off a couple of days. We were busy, but yeah, you know, New Year's Eve. Come on, really? And I got the side eye, you guys. I mean, I got the, mm, I got the slow talk. <laughs> everything, got, everything slowed down. Everything got in slow motion. And oh, well, we're going to have to see because, you know, we've got, um, you know, we've got so and so coming in town right after the holidays, and we've got a, yeah, yeah. Well, I was like, "Are you serious right now? This is crazy." <laughs> so I, and I remember just thinking, you know, you know how, like, on uh, what's that show um, on Netflix, the one where the guy is kind of talking to the um, in the White House. Uh, what is it called? Um, talking oh, in the White House. Uh, what's it called? Um, in with Kevin window. Spacey. Oh, oh, House of Cards. House of Cards. So I was like a House of Cards, okay? And that House of Cards was falling and falling fast. So it was like me. It was like my man, my director was talking, and I was like, "Look, y'all, she think, okay, I'm gonna put up with this for too much longer." But guess what? I'm <laughs> out of here. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Susan, you know what? I'll just wait for you to tell me if I can take off on my birthday, which is New Year's Eve. Y'all, that was my breaking point. I was done. I was like, this is ridiculous. And I'm not going to, I just, I couldn't. All right. So I decided that I needed a change. I needed to get out. I needed to do some other things. And that's yeah. when I started um, uh, public speaking. I started public speaking. I started okay. going around and I, I spoke on all different kinds of subjects from leadership development to public speaking. And it gave me a chance to get away from that corporate stuff, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, get away from all that corporate stuff. And it yeah, gave yeah. me a chance to get out on the road and I just felt free. And I mm. felt free until guess what? Until I felt trapped again. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I felt trapped again. Now, after some years of being on the road and doing all of that, I couldn't get off. I couldn't get off the merry-go-round. And that's where, you know, my story picks up with getting into instructional design. 
Wow. And thank you for sharing that because I know so many people can relate to that. And, and, and that's similar to my own story as well. Before I became an entrepreneur that I literally felt job trapped in the job that I hated. Yeah. And I knew it was time for a change. I just didn't know what to do. Right. 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 So, yeah, I think we've all been there at, at some point. So, yeah. So I, I love to hear uh, the backstory. And I think it's so interesting that you wanted to write, that you didn't want to be in the forefront, but yet you became a speaker, which is all on you. <laughs> I know. It is. It is. Well, you know what? And and not only that, right, is that she also does periscopes and is pretty freaking amazing at them, by the way. <laughs> but OK, so we're talking about, um, you know, just showing up and being present and um, switching from, you know, being behind the camera to in front of the camera. With that being said, um, I'd like to go ahead and move into our sponsor for the day, which is our wonderful Ava Loris Healing Center. Awesome. So, Today's sponsor is Ava Lars Healing Center. So do you feel called to do big, great, and meaningful work, work in the world? Have you given up on your dreams? Are you suffering in silence because you can't figure out how to create the life they, that you really want for yourself? Ava Laura helps you move from whole to wholeness in your life, in your relationships, and your business to live a freedom-focused, full life of peace, abundance, and happiness. So as I said earlier in the in the in the broadcast here, um, you guys can contact Ava Laura at Ava Laura at Ava Laura .com, And she is offering a 20 minute free consultation. So it's pretty important. And that's the reason why I brought this up, um, why I brought up our sponsor today, because we're talking about moving from whole to wholeness. Right. Mm -hmm. We're talking about being in one place in your life and being just mm -hmm. just down in the dumps and knowing that that's not a life for you. Like that's not where you want to go. And that's not a part of your journey any longer. So moving forward with that, um, you can definitely take a look or give a call to or I should, I should say email, sorry, avalora at avalora.com and find out more information. If you're in that space in your life or you're, you're moving into entrepreneurship and you just don't know what to do, she is an awesome, awesome intuitive coach for that. And there you go, avalora at avalora's um, healingcenter.com. Um, so we also have the resource list and I know we've been pounding out that resource list, but I definitely want to tell you that as well because that goes hand in hand with our sponsor as well. Um, so you can check out avalora at avalora.com, email her for more information, but then you can go to our resource list to find out what other resources are available to you in your life and in your business that can help you because it's over $10,000 that you can use for your business. Now that we've gotten all of that good stuff out of the way and I wanted to make sure that I captured it and placed it right in a, in a pivotal moment in your conversation because you both were talking. Oh, wow. I want to hear from you, um, Kat, um, since you moved from, you know, that place of, of being in, in the hole and then to wholeness, kind of, you know, moving from one place to another, like Ava Laura says um, in her description there. I want to hear actually from both of you because Ava Laura, you know, she's my co-host and I'm sure, you know, you all have heard a little bit of her story, but I want Ava Laura to kind of share with you a little bit about how she moved to it and then kind of where you are now, how much better you are because you're an entrepreneur, how, not how much better, or maybe how you, your life is explosive now, right? It's just, it's just easier. It's yeah, like, absolutely. you know, you're in the right place, right? <laughs> yeah, and, I'm, and I'm sure Kat will, can certainly relate to it as well. But, you know, for me, definitely being in that space of, you know, when you get, you know, you go to school, you get your, you know, your degree, you know, my master's degree. So you do all the things that everybody tells you to do. And yeah. you, what you realize is that that's all that everybody knows, right? They're telling you what they know. So I did what I was supposed to do. So I got my bachelor's degree in psychology, got my master's degree in social work, wanted to take on the world, wanted to help people and find myself in a, in a very oppressive, limiting system that wasn't allowing me to help others that I was simply helping people to maintain their dysfunction. Yeah. And I wanted to help people heal. I wanted to help them to grow. I wanted to transform lives. I wanted to make an impact. Mm -hmm. And so when you're stuck in this space where this is all you know, because this is all that your people know, right? That's all my mama knew. That's all my daddy knew. They didn't know how to move from that place. They didn't know how to not have a job and work for 30 years and then retire. Like they couldn't tell me what to do. Right. right. So their thing is kind of like stick it out, you know, right. keep your job, keep your good job with your benefits. And me, I'm like, mm -mm, this is not going to work. I can't do this. And so I got sick and tired of being sick and tired and leave on terms. I was fired. Thank God. 
answered prayer. And but I had a decision to make, you know, am I going to take the easy path? Am I going to just go and get another job or am I going to launch my dreams? You know, am I really going to tap into myself? Who am I? Why am I here? What was I created for? How can I really make an impact in the world? And that's what I chose to do. And so I took the time to focus on me. Who am I? Why am I here? And I got the help. I got coaches. I had healers. I got I got teachers and healers and 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 coaches yeah. for days. OK, I got my village. I tell you all the time. It takes a village to raise a dream. I had I got a village and I took six months. And then, you know, six months after that, I opened up a Valores Healing Center. And that was a little over 11 years ago. Wow. And I have not looked back. I have not looked back. I didn't know you. So, were you know, I say all of that to say, and that's one of the reasons I started Boot to Boom is because I wanted people to know that it's mm -hmm. possible. You know, there's so many of you who have a beginning and you just do. You don't know what those steps are. You don't know what it looks like. And nobody around you can tell you because they don't know either because they haven't done it. Yep. That's right. So, Kat, that's I, would, I would love to hear from you. We know what your turning point was. How did you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, it was not easy. It was not easy. And 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 I, something that you said just really, really struck me. And that is that, you know, we won't always our generation. I don't know if you're a Gen Xer, but I'm a Gen Xer. And my parents also did not understand didn't get this whole thing. And I actually tried lots of things before I went finally mm -hmm. settled on this. I was a serial entrepreneur. Okay. Even though I was working a regular job way back then, I did so many things y'all wouldn't even believe. Okay. So tell I us, yeah. tell us, please. <laughs> 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 well, I know um, you, I know you used to be a rapper. I do know you used to be a rapper. I did not used to be a rapper. Stop it. Let me let me let me have Cat bring y'all out the bit that Lee. Do the bit that Lee. Cat Cat do the bit that Lee. <laughs> oh god, bit that Lee. I say bit that Lee. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got a bit that Lee, okay? But I do, I, I have this little thing I do called I beat them keys, right? Yes, so yes. I, <laughs> I beat them keys is all about typing because every time I'm on with somebody, they're like, what are you doing? Like, what is that noise? I'm like, I'm That's beating them funny. keys. That's what I'm doing. I'm working. That's what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> but That's yes. funny. But I do, I've done so many things. I mean, way back in the day, uh, before I knew what I really wanted to do with my life, I I went to school, much like you, Ava Laura, I went to college like people told me I was supposed to do, and I dropped out after my sophomore mm -hmm. year. And I was like, nah, you know, I went to community wow. college. I didn't go to a regular four-year school like the rest of my my high school friends. I didn't go. I was like, nah, you know, because I was still kind of in between. I wasn't really sure. I didn't know. So I went to community college. And after that, I opened up a um, a cleaning service. I had a cleaning service in West Palm Beach, Florida. And my business, um, I sent out folks to clean apartments all over the city. And that's nice. what I did. I opened that up wow. and um, and I loved it, except I loved the money, but I didn't love the chemicals and nor did I love having to um, hire people every couple of weeks because it's yes. hard work, right? So I was like, nah, I don't know mm -hmm. about that. So then I did another business where I sold flowers to area nightclubs. Huh. I mm, did. Flowers. I did. I sold. I know. I'm like, I was, I was all so over the place. It wasn't rhymes. It was flowers. It was flowers. It was flowers. It was flowers. And believe it or not, that was big business back then. So I was making pretty good money um, selling flowers. I was the only person that would walk around the club and they would buy the flowers for their woman. Yeah, well, I supplied the flowers, right? I supplied the flowers that I had folks at different nightclubs who stole the flowers for me, right? And of course, the drug dealers were the biggest customers, right? Yes. They were trying to impress. That's true. They had the money. Yeah, yeah. And they were trying to impress the girl with the big butt. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. So it was big business, really. And I did that actually for a while, and I loved it. 
Um, and then I decided that I wanted to go to school. I don't know. I just got this some something just kind of hit me. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Let me finish school. So I went to the University of Florida and finished up, got my bachelor's degree there. And I put on a cruise in the Bahamas in 97. Actually, that was the first cruise that T.D. Jakes Ministries ever was a part of. Wow. I don't know. Wow. Was the cruise that I put on. Uh, T. Jakes Ministries, Juanita Bynum and them. Um, mm. So that was interesting, but that was when I realized I didn't want to put on cruises. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, I was Nothing. like, let me put on a cruise. Yeah, next. <laughs> I mean, you, know, so you I, all I, see I, that the path to entrepreneurship is not a straight path. It's not. It's not. It is so not. It is not. It is not a straight path. So, now, but I've used all of those skills and experiences to to bring me where where I kind of am now. I use every last skill that I've ever gotten. You know, that's really important because I kind of came to and a come to Jesus moment, I think myself a little while ago um, where I just was like, you know what? This is all a part of the journey. Like everything that has happened to me in the past has actually right. helped me in the future. You know, like I have a stack of like these books, these notebooks uh, in my garage from like two years of me just sitting down and writing out like different information, different technical skills, just information that came in from people's webinars that I joined back when I didn't know what Facebook ads were. I was like, oh, someone's invited me right. to your webinar. Okay, I'll join. <laughs> Um, right. you know, but all of that stuff that I did and all of the um, and the, the, the gazillion businesses that I've come through um, and the different passions that I've had. And I'm like, OK, I'm going to help these people. Nope. I guess I'm going to help these people. Nope. I guess not. I guess I'll go help these people um, have all come to full circle into me um, helping people produce their own shows because it's what I've done right. all, the whole time. I've always told people do this, do that. Contact this person, have this guest, you know, and done the research behind it. Um, right. So it, you know, I just came to that realization. So I'm really glad that you were able to um, tell us about your journey and then bring it full circle with saying that, you know what, you may start in a totally different profession, but you'll eventually get to where you need to go. You will. It, it's so true. It's so true. And if you just stick with it and just um, trust your process, everybody's process is different. Mm -hmm. um, I see, you know, sometimes people feel like they look at different people and they try to use that as their model and say, oh, I, you know, it's taking me too long. And why is everybody else successful except for me? And, you know, how come? And I used to think those things. I, I did. I used to think along yeah. those lines. And, 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 and then I came to realize that, you know, everybody has their own journey. You know, and you yeah. have to take yours and you have to be patient with your process, but intentional with your process. Patient, mm -hmm. but intentional. Nice. I love that. Yeah. And Absolutely. I, I always I say, it. Too, um, you're in the season for a reason. And that's what came to me after I, when I had my come to Jesus. It's like you're in the season for a reason. It's all right. setting you up for what your outcome is going to be. Absolutely. Um, so, Laura, I'll turn it over to you to ask the next question since I asked you last time. Yeah, I have another question. Um, but before, again, if you all have questions, definitely uh, put it in the Q&A uh, so we can ask your question as well. If you want to get in the seat, we do have a fourth seat here. If you want to get in the seat, if you want to ask a question, you want to talk to Kat personally, make sure you tweet it out, share it out, mm -hmm. um, and post in the chat. Let us know that you want to come on air and we will invite you on to ask your own questions as well. Yes, let's talk about so, some courses. Well, you know, okay, I, I do have a question in awesome. terms of, you know, you had a, you, you, a very interesting point, and I say this to people all the time, is that, you know, there's nothing ever wasted. Yeah. You know, no part of your life is right. ever wasted. It is all used for a purpose, even if you don't understand at that point in time what that purpose is. Exactly. So I'm curious to know how you kind of everything that you had been through, everything you experienced, all the different businesses that you were in. How are you now using that in course creation? Yeah. Great, great question. Great question. Um, well, one of the things that I really got a chance to do early on in my career as a journalist is interview lots of interesting people. Um, I interviewed Barry Gordy and uh, Damon Wayans and Jada Pinkett Smith and uh, who else? Oh, my goodness. Um, Charles Branson. That's the Virgin Airlines guy. Richard um, Branson. Oh, God. 
Richard Branson. There you go. Thank you. Richard Branson. Uh, oh, God. Chico the Barge. Ice T. Uh, I did a lot of entertainment mm -hmm. back then. Um, and I was here uh, here in Atlanta, so I interviewed quite a few um, artists and 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 folks, and and it really gave me a a great perspective, mm -hmm. I think. Um, uh, so just the, just my interviewing skills and being able to interview and not be a Afraid. I've never really been afraid to speak to people, but I think that once you get face to face with with celebrity yeah. status people and you're asking them personal questions, it changes <laughs> things. Like it really gives you a sense of like, oh, okay. Like I'm asking them why they're not married and what's going on. And you know, I heard mm -hmm. this and that. You know, I was really kind of getting the Wendy Williams <laughs> yeah, on in there. I was like and the Wendy gives, Williams tea. <laughs> I know, I know. It gives you a real kind of sense of. Of, of of I don't know I want I won't say power but yeah. it empowers yeah. you to understand that people are just people yeah. who you know mm -hmm. wherever you go so I definitely uh, use my um, interview skills my speaking skills when I traveled and I spoke for all those years in person that definitely has served me well uh, I'm just being able to to articulate my thoughts and communicate well so I've used that I've used uh, be working in corporate so I understand mm -hmm. Uh, what business needs are. I understand sort of what I like to call the 360 degree spectrum. And this is a spectrum that I teach to uh, my my higher level clients because they're working in, some of them are working in corporate or they're working mm -hmm. with businesses. And so it's that perspective of the learner as well as the, yeah. the business, mm -hmm. as well as the nice. course builder. Right. So you've got all these perspectives that have to sort of come into alignment uh, when you are when you're building courses. And so um, being at working in corporate, even though it was OK back then, but then, you know, it gave me a perspective of why course building is is such a phenomenon. Why? Because as technology has has mm -hmm. gotten better, it's mm -hmm. gotten cheaper. Um, uh, that, that now the regular everyday kitchen table mm -hmm. entrepreneur can use course. See, it used to be back then when I first got started in all of this, it used to be that only, you know, fortune 500 companies mm -hmm. were privy to this mm -hmm. technology where they were able to save money themselves by hiring people like me, right, to provide courses through their learning management system that they could then offer yep. to their employees. It saved them money, it saved them time, and it saved me from having to be all over the place. So it was a win-win scenario, right? So what has happened is that the playing field has leveled. Yeah. The playing yeah. field has leveled. So that technology is now available to the everyday entrepreneur, which is what's so exciting. Not only is it available, it is affordable, it's easy to use, and, and this is becoming the standard whether it's academia or or corporate or whether it's it's an entrepreneur who wants to teach folks how to uh, have better nutrition or whatever it is it's available to everybody so the barriers to entry are low mm -hmm. that way that means you can get in and and really dominate in your space and that's what's really what's so exciting about mm -hmm. this so what what is the technology and, and somebody is actually asking too uh what platform do you use to develop courses yeah that is probably the number one question that i get i get asked that question at least a couple times a day whether it's email or something that i'm on and and and, and i always am a little no matter how many times people ask me i'm always a little hesitant to answer mm -hmm. and the reason is because what i use may not be what's best for you is that erica erica what i use may not be what's good for you all right so i've been doing this for a long time so i have a high tolerance for technology right so so um so i can tell you what you should be looking for in a course platform as you are shopping around whether it's 
uh, for Teachable or Thinkific or Udemy or Kajabi or all these other platforms that are out there. Mm -hmm. You need to evaluate your own tolerance for technology. Mm -hmm. All right. So some platforms are not as tech set technologically easy or user friendly. However, they have some beautiful sites. So you might get caught up in how beautiful it is and say, hey, I'm going to use that platform. And then you get in there and it takes you three months yes. to get it off the ground. If <laughs> All right. Because you just got caught up in the technology. And guess what, you guys? These tech companies are no longer setting up people to answer your questions all day long. That's right. Like you've got to email them and wait for an answer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you want a person on the phone, you have to pay more. That's the trend, whether we like it or not. As entrepreneurs, especially women entrepreneurs, you got to get cozied up with technology. I was just talking about that today for Course Tech Tuesday. You've got to cozy up the technology, but there are some platforms that are easier than others. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to look for uh, ease of use. All right. So how do you know it's easy? You want to test it out. If it doesn't have a trial version, skip it. If it doesn't have a trial version, go to the next. Okay. Mm -hmm. So make sure it has a trial version and get in there, play around with it and make sure it's not too hard for you. Otherwise you'll get stuck and you'll abandon it. Hmm. So that's yes. one thing you want to look out for. Okay. Yeah. I think I've that's completely a good point. been there. I've been there. I've started on a platform and um, I was mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, this is so pretty. It's going to look so professional and nice. And I've got into it and started typing and I'm like, holy moly, where did the lesson one go? And what module did this connect to? <laughs> where do I even mm -hmm. put a video? Do I not? Or, you know, right. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I've definitely been there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely easy to get lost in all of that. But but you want to look at there are in terms of automation. All right. So what people want is they want a, a platform that allows them to make money in their sleep. Right. Mm -hmm. Those are the best kind. Right. We love yeah. those. Um, but you have to there, there are other things that go into it. It's it's kind of not as simple as that. Right. So you got to get you, you have to get people who actually want to buy your course. First of all, you right. can set it up all pretty and everything and then nobody buy it. Womp, womp, OK, <laughs> so we don't want that. Right. <laughs> right. I always say courses that don't sell are not sexy. They are totally not sexy at all. So you want to make sure, first of all, that you're creating a course that people actually want. And there is a strategy to doing yeah, that. Okay. You don't want to launch a course that people don't want. That's bad business. Yeah. yeah. That's a waste. Of time, that's right. A, Have it up there. Nice. That's a very, very good point. You know, a lot of times too, we see this all the time in entrepreneurship where people, we become in love with our idea, mm -hmm. but everybody yeah. else is not in love with our idea. Oh yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You know, some people people want pay for your idea. So you're absolutely right. You got to find out what people want. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I always say people don't buy what they want, but they don't buy what they need. They buy what they yeah, want. Definitely. You know, and I always have people say, oh, well, cat, they need to know this and they need this and they need this course. Yeah, but people don't buy what they need. Is that what they want? Now, if what they need is what they want, awesome. Right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But if what they want is not what you think they need, who's going to win? Yes, right. Who's going to mm. win? Oh, and by the way, TikTok, TikTok, car note. TikTok, TikTok, <laughs> drink. TikTok, TikTok needs some okay. groceries. Okay. Real. Baby needs. Yeah. Nobody got okay. time for that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know? Yeah. That's that's real. So what are, so what are the next steps in, in in building a course? So they find out, you know, OK, this is what I'm going to teach a course in. Yes, this is what people want and what they need. What's the next step? What do you do? The next step is to outline it based on. So there, so there are lots of moving parts, right? Lots of moving pieces that you have to be thinking about. You have to be thinking about not only building the course, but marketing the course and launching the course. All right. Yeah. Lots of things to be thinking about. So um, so if you have done your due diligence and you have um, outlined a course that your folks actually want. All right. Then filling in the content shouldn't be too hard. So what I find out what I find is that people get stuck at the content. 
Why did they get stuck at the content? First of all, they've chosen a topic that they probably shouldn't have chosen the first place. All right. So, uh, yeah, people choose topics all the time and they're just like, oh, wow, I can, the cat, I can teach them how to lose weight because I lost 30 pounds in one year. Awesome. But guess what? Can you really teach that subject? Yes, cat, I can teach it. I can tell them everything I did. Okay, well, listen. <laughs> everything <laughs> I did. Yeah. Everything <laughs> I did. Right, right. I did, right. The I did, the I did expert. Okay, the I did. Expert. <laughs> Don't even okay. get it. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, so I always. I I, this is how I did it. This is how I did it. Right. Yep. Yeah. And that's not and that's not for everyone. That's not for everyone. The way that some one person does it doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for you. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told you. Well, that's the difference between an expert and what I like to call an expert. Ha. Okay. Ha. An expert right? and a next yes. expert. What's the next thing that I can say I'm an expert at? All right. Mm -hmm. So I call those folks next experts. All right. <laughs> so how do you know the difference between an expert <laughs> and a next expert? Okay. Yes. And I have to come up with these things because people don't believe me when I say, you know what? This is not the topic for you. All right. So they don't believe mm -hmm. me. So I say I give them a very easy test. And everybody who's on here. Think about your topic. Put your topic in the chat. Put your top. What is your topic? What do you what do you want to build a course on? Do, you know, tell us what you want to build a course on. I'm going to give you a real easy test that'll tell you whether or not uh, it's an expert topic or an expert topic. All right, you need guys, to here's your okay. chance. So let's go. I'm looking, I don't see it. So let them <laughs> let them answer. In the meantime, there's actual another question. So guys, we're waiting sure. for you to put it in the chat. Um, what course would you be interested in teaching? We got another question. What are some of the more user-friendly platforms? Ah. Okay, user-friendly platforms. Uh, Smart Member is very user-friendly. I like it for the new entrepreneur. I, d but okay, preface. There are things that I like about every platform, and there are mm. things I don't like about every platform mm -hmm. okay yeah. so let me just give that sort of disclaimer i like smart member because it is super duper easy yeah. all right really easy to use you really don't you don't need a phd it really gets plug and play it's easy to see upload hmm module one lesson one very very easy however mm. should you need customer service they are awful they mm. are awful okay so, hmm. Mm -hmm. so you asked me, you know, like, like ease of use that one. I like price point is pretty good for most people, but I don't like the customer service. All right. Um, teachable is, so I would, I would put smart member up there at probably an eight in terms of ease of use. All right. Probably about an eight for the average person. I uh, one out of okay. 10, 10 being the highest. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, uh, then there's Thinkific and Teachable, which are probably about the same, uh, which is like a they're like a level five and six. I would give okay. I would give Teachable a five and think and teach um, Thinkific probably a six in terms hmm. of ease of use. They're not the most intuitive uh, platforms. You would think so, as much as people like to use yeah. them. Uh, teach. I think it's just a little bit easier than Thinkific, mm -hmm. but Thinkific has a really nice interface. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but Thinkific has a has a really nice, sorry. <laughs> For the kids' bed, you know. Um, <laughs> and um, it is a really nice platform, so I really like it. Um, Kajabi, I find to be the most difficult. I was going to ask um, you about Kajabi because that's the one everybody talks about, and I got on there in a free trial, and I said, what the heck? Yeah, I'm out. What the same? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm out. Yeah. I don't know what's going yeah. on here. No. I know. Well, the thing about it is Kajabi is, is the most beautiful. It is Kajabi, very beautiful. Like, it's very like, beautiful. Nobody can beat a Kajabi course, yeah. okay? Yeah. Kajabi is the boom, bam, and the pow, yeah. okay? In terms of beauty, aesthetics. Mm -hmm. However, you, uh, you need a PhD <laughs> almost to figure it yeah. out. And the customer service, right, where you can get somebody on the phone is at the what? $400 level. Mm. Yeah. It's at the $400 exactly. level where you can actually get to somebody on the phone mm -hmm. 
So if, if not, then you've got to, um, then the lower level is like 129 or 130, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but people like it because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of influencers use Kajabi. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like mm -hmm. the thing to do, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like that purse that, that, you know, that has the name brand, but it's not very practical. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You take it out to yeah. show it, but you wouldn't really pay for it if it, you know, so it's kind of like that, <laughs> um, you know, but, but in terms of yeah. ease of use, I yeah. give it like a three. It's mm -hmm. really not that easy. Mm -hmm. It's not super easy, but you can get somebody and look, hire somebody on Fiverr or Guru or one of them people and uh, get somebody to set it up for you really. <laughs> Hey, so you guys, I see that you all have your topics here. If one of you would like to jump in, then go ahead and tweet for a seat and we can have you jump in and kind of tell Kat what your topic is. Um, it looks like we can only probably take one, maybe two at the most because of the time, um, our time here. Uh, but so we can you, read them out. Okay. You want to just read them out? Okay. Let's do yeah. that. All right. Let's go. Look, paid traffic is one. Uh, building a successful okay. online show. Uh, social okay. media automation for Generation X entrepreneurs. So awesome. those are the, yeah. Yeah. Those are the topics okay. as far. We got some other questions coming in, but those are the topics. Yeah. The person okay, on very the show, good. hit me up. Very good. Very good. So I have a really quick test uh, as to whether or not this is a topic you should pursue. Okay. Um, imagine that you on are on a deserted island. It's a beautiful island, but it's just you. There's no internet, there are no computers, there's no cell phones, there's no library, there's no, you know, uh, five burgers or five brothers burgers. There's none of that kind of stuff. It's just you on a deserted island with a stack of notebooks, all right? A stack of notebooks. You are going to be on that deserted island for one full year. One full year, all right? Your task is to write about your topic every single day for that year without getting tired and without running out of things to talk about or to write about, all right? That's mm -hmm. your task and that's your test as to whether or not this is a topic for you. Nice. Okay, so you have no access to resources except what's in your own head, all right. You have to write about it every single day. That's what you have to do. Is that topic something that you won't get tired of and you won't run out of things to say? Wow. That's the test. Yeah. That is the test. So it looks like somebody switched their topic <laughs> to build a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't, oh, I need some more details. Are there coconuts? Is there any kind of wood <laughs> laying around me? Because <laughs> coconut and that mountain monkey in the tree. Okay, we got, ooh, that, that's a doozy right there, though. Yeah. I'm even thinking, like, what would I talk about every day that's that I true. wouldn't get tired exactly. of? Yeah, right. Now, the reason why that's a test <laughs> is because. When you are building a course, when you are positioning yourself as an authority in your topic area, mm -hmm. the worst thing you can do is be switching all over the place, switching mm -hmm. up, switching around, all this kind of thing. And a lot of times you have to build content on the spot, exactly. That's right? True. You have to be able to talk about things from That's a lot true. of different perspectives. And so if you are running out or you got to run to the library every time somebody asks you something, oh, well, I'll get back with you on that. Uh, let me go back and check my notes. <laughs> and my thing is, listen, you don't, I, you know, I tell, I tell my students, I tell my clients, you don't have to have the answer. Yeah. Right. You don't have to have the answer, but you do have to have a answer. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay. There we go. You have to have an answer. It might not be the answer. You have to have an answer. Yeah, yeah. You can't be like, oh no, that's a good question. Oh, well. You know, oh, no, well. you have to be able to say, you know, uh, find oh, well. Hold <laughs> up. Let me check the Googles. Let me check the Googles. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It has to be a topic that you can thoroughly talk about that if people come at you with this question from over here or that question from over there, it doesn't throw you off. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. make you, you know, anxious and things like that. You can talk about it.
from different perspectives. Um, and the thing about not getting tired of it, you got to be passionate about your topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got to be something that's a part of you that you love to do and love to talk about because people don't want to take a boring course. And that's if true. you're boring and if you're bored with your topic, they're not going to take your online course. That's the truth. They're not going to take it. No, you start off boring. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of us here is boring. We do not have oh. to worry about that. Girl, that's right. That's the last right. thing we got to worry about, if anything. Wow, that's that's great, great tips. Great tips. Um, we got some other questions here. Let's see. So Malik is asking, what is the best solution for creating a course curriculum topic? Huh. What's the best solution for creating? Well, okay, I'm not really sure, Malik, what it what the problem if the is is the problem coming up with a curriculum topic? If that's the problem, if the problem is, I don't know what topic to M to Malik, talk about. You, uh, have you tweeted? Would you like to um, take a seat really fast? Um, I know you say you were working, but um, are you able to jump in the seat really quick, Malik? If you don't like what you are doing or selling, why should they buy your product or service? Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely, Dr. Vibes, for real, for real. Absolutely. And it's not that you that people don't like it. It's not that they don't like what they're doing. It's that they're not experienced in what they're doing. Right. They don't have the experience right. that it takes. And just because you've done it doesn't mean that you can really speak about it from an authority uh, standpoint. And then, Eva Laura, I wanted to ask you, too, about the whole um, the whole what did you call it? Not next. What do you call it? The expert, the next expert, the next expert, the expert, yeah. The expert. Next expert. yeah. So that that whole thing of do you think that mm -hmm. that's a bit really big issue and something that you come across a lot is that they just want to produce something that's just the the bang boom pow right now, you know? So it's right that, now. That's the era. That's yeah. the era that we live in right now. That yeah. people say yeah. I did it, so now I want to write a how to about how everybody else can do it because I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and, you know, and I remember talking to, um, so I have a radio show coming up uh, called Ava Laura Heels is going to be launching December 1st nice. and I'm um, interviewing uh, guests and I, you know, I interviewed um, uh, my, my natural hairstylist and, um, and it was a really, really powerful interview. And she said something so key where we were talking about how everybody goes on YouTube now and because you can go on YouTube, they think they can just get information. So now everybody becomes an expert. Mm -hmm. And particularly when we're talking about sort of natural healing and, you know, natural hair care and these type of movements, everybody thinks they can do it themselves because it's natural. Yeah. And she said, Abel, Laura, I want to put this in a perspective for you. She said, everybody wants to come on and tell me how to take care of my hair too. They read some blog, they did this and they got 4B hair, they have whatever. So now I can do it. But she said, I work on, let's say six heads a day. <laughs> five days a week. That's mm -hmm. 30 heads a week. Are mm -hmm. you working on 30 different people's hair every single, you know, every single week? Yeah. All the different textures, everything that you're dealing with. The same thing for me. Everybody wants to be a life coach. Everybody wants to give you advice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see, you know, 10, 20 clients a week, everything mm -hmm. that they're going through you know, whether it's life issues, whether it's their relationships, their business, their career, whatever it is, and you have to advise them and then help them to actually get results. Exactly. Yep. So if you can't do I, that, you're not an expert. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so then, and so then find the thing that you can and are an expert in. And you know what? If you're not yet, then go get some education about it learn, learn your craft, be good at your craft. Be, you know, I'm not saying that everybody has to go back like me. I, you know, I've got two master's degrees and all this kind of stuff, but I wanted to know, I, you know, my MBA is in entrepreneurship because I wanted to be a good business person. I wanted to know what I